I'll show you how to access and download the new ChatGPT 4.0 desktop app for free. This is also where you'll find the new GPT 4.0 voice and vision feature when ChatGPT finally rolls it out to all users. As you can see, when I boot up ChatGPT, I get this message from OpenAI recommending me to download this app. You'll see this message if you're on a Mac and have Apple Silicon. However, if you are not on Apple Silicon or you are on Windows, you aren't currently able to download this app. By the time you watch this video, if it is available, then great. Let's now go ahead and download it. You'll see that you won't be able to find the official ChatGPT app on the Mac Apple Store as it's only available to download via the links I just showed you. You can see all these other apps aren't the official ChatGPT app. So let's go ahead and download this app. Okay, then just drag and drop that into your applications folder, search it up in your search bar, and open that up. Let's allow that. And here we are, now we can log in. Let's see what it looks like when we log in with our free account. All right, logging in now, and it says that I don't have access to the ChatGPT desktop app yet. I can still use ChatGPT at the original ChatGPT.com website though. Now the reason for that, because at the moment ChatGPT desktop app is not available to ChatGPT free subscribers, and it's only available to ChatGPT plus subscribers. So now let's go ahead and log into our paid account. Okay, great. And as you can see, we are now logged into the ChatGPT desktop app for Mac. And provided the ChatGPT 4.0 app is open on desktop, I can use the hotkeys of option space to open up ChatGPT anytime I want. Or I can customize that in settings. So I'll close that out. Up the top, we have our sidebar, which we can open and close. We can choose between our different GPT 4 models. So let's choose GPT 4.0. And then we can see we can explore GPTs and even activate the temporary chat mode. We can start a new chat with this button here. And then in the bottom left, we can upload files, upload photos, or take a screenshot from whichever app is open, or just take a photo directly from the webcam. Next, we can tap the microphone button to speak a prompt to ChatGPT, or we can go ahead and use the ChatGPT 4 voice mode. And you get this message that the new ChatGPT 4.0 voice mode that OpenAI demoed isn't yet available, but this is where you'll find it when it is available. If you've made it this far, then you're probably an Apple user, so check out this video to see how to use ChatGPT voice on iPhone, which uses the iPhone iPhone ChatGPT native app. So let's tap that now. We can now click choose Hi a there. voice. All right, I'm just gonna resize this window a little bit more. Here we go, I'm gonna just have a bit of a conversation now with ChatGPT. Hey, briefly tell me the weather in Melbourne right now. Right now in Melbourne, it's partly cloudy with temperatures around 18 degrees Celsius. And there we go, we can see our voice transcription as well. Remember to check out the AI Video Maker course in the description and pin comment below. You'll learn proven ways to make money with AI. So let's test out the hotkey for accessing ChatGPT. And providing I've got ChatGPT desktop app open in the background, I can just do option space to bring this up and ask it even with a voice dictation, when was ChatGPT released? As soon as I hit enter on that, we get sent straight over to the ChatGPT desktop app window and it gives us our answer. So this ChatGPT app really makes it easy to build your ChatGPT workflow into whatever you're doing on your desktop computer. Check out this video next to see how to download the ChatGPT 4.0 app for iPhone as I mentioned before, which lets you use ChatGPT for voice. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.